Welcome back to the PowerBase tutorial series. I'm Josue Guillen with the Progressive Technology Project and today we're going to look at creating a data entry form. Now, right now by default if you have a new person you want to add you go to contacts and you click on new individual and you use this form. And you have to scroll down and you have to click on a number of places and deal with the peculiarities of the setup of this particular page. But what if you wanted a nice short data entry form? You can design your own and you can even add it to your menu. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we are going to CVCRM profile and we are going to add a new profile. Uh, let's do a really short form and we want to look at the advanced settings at the bottom here. Uh, we could for this form uh, add all the new contacts to a particular group that might be useful. Uh, you can also put in an email address every time it gets used somebody could be notified um, but uh, the only thing we're going to look at here is what to do upon duplicate match and uh, we want to issue a warning and do not save if it finds a duplicate and uh, how does it know if it's a duplicate well the profiles are using so I just saved this record and now we can add the fields that we want to collect but before I do that uh, let's look at the rules on duplicates in the database I have here a, a particular rule that uh, uses the phone and street address along with the email we can see the specifics of that so in order for it to be a duplicate first name last name and either phone or street address have to match or I also like the email address uh, those are the different requirements in order to get a duplicate um, and the database with profiles uses the default strict rule so uh, that's where you go contacts find and merge duplicate contacts is where you get these list of rules and it is going to be using the default strict rule to evaluate profiles which is what we're using for data entry so let us do the obvious we'll do first name we'll do last name and we will do one or two other fields. This particular database, PowerBase, by default has constituent type as a required field and so we're going to keep that there. And let us, phone number and emails are not under individual, they are under contacts as well as address information, just so you know. That's where you have to go to look for them. The phone number, I'm not going to deal with the address, but we will uh, put in email. Now that we've created the form, we can click use and we will have our form that we can fill up and we can use and we can click save and we can verify the whether it's checking for a duplicate let's go ahead and put in this information and the database will say a record already exists and so then you can do your process and look this person up and edit it and if you are wanting to add this. We have a couple of other forms that we've created and we put them on the menu up here. Uh, you can 
Now first, you need the URL. So the how you got here, here is the really short form. And you can also, from here, use the profile create mode. And that gives you the URL of the form, which you can just copy. Uh, using your keyboard, uh, using any of the different copy mechanisms to take the website address for this form. And then under configure, under customize, you also have navigation menu. And it is in the navigation menu that you can add items to your menu. And we have a data entry one, and we want to add a new menu item to data entry. And so, really short form. And they want the URL, and we can paste it in. And the parent, we want to put it under data entry. And hit save. And that's how you add to the menu, the really short form.